All right, Shalom. I'm going to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakaha, Kodash. It's a lucky. It's a lucky. Double honor to the apostles and elders, a great mystery on their rule well. Peace and blessings to the hopefully elect out there that's doing this work with truth and sincerity. Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai, Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai, Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai. All praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Bahashim Rakakwadash, the water, the Yah to Wab. Just a quick lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shima Bashah. Lord, this is edifying. Man, prophecies unfolding minute by minute, hour by hour, second by second. And again, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are the true biblical Israelites that the Bible speaks of. Man, look, gas prices are going up. The brother Elder Ariala was saying he's at the gas pump. It's like the gas go up like a penny a day. He said he saw this one, Jake. Pump and get the, the one Jake had like a little Toyota, and uh, he looked at Ariala and was like, uh, he put in like one gallon for like five dollars and eight cents or something like that, eight cents or eighty cents. And uh, Ariala said the brother looked at him and said, "Man, that's all I got," and just drove off. Feeling like in the Toyota, in the Toyota engine is little, he's only be able to get one gas, man. So these prices this summer is going to be a wild ass summer, as prescribed in the scriptures and as prescribed through. The apostles and elders that have been warning you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans of things to come, but you insist on scoffing, you insist on talking back, you insist on not taking heed, you insist on not being serious about the words that's coming out of the Bible that's being conveyed unto you, man. The Lord is bringing down this place because of the controversy he had with the inhabitants thereof. And for, uh, where is it? For Isaiah 34 and 8 For the controversy of Zion So the vengeance Vengeance is on the Lord's mind man You see And the Lord said he's going to save His people, the elect of his people From famine And things of that nature that's coming to this place man It's going to be all Anarchy, chaos out here, civil unrest You know what I'm saying Yo, It's going to be bad out here And the brothers in L.A. Much love to them, Akim, all the Akim throughout the world that's doing his work with truth and sincerity, man. Much love to you, brothers, man. And may the Lord keep your brothers and your families, man. You know what I'm saying? They was out in the wilderness, man, and they paying the camera around. You, like right in front of them was the snow and different places. And just imagine being out there, man, with nothing. See, it's cool. It's easy to say con to every goddamn thing. It's easy to say fucking con, right? Yeah, con. But we got to prepare our minds, man. We should have been preparing our minds, man. Lord willing, we, I'm like getting rid of anything that's unnecessary. Anything and everything in this world don't matter. The only thing that matters is you doing the work of the Lord and enduring until the end. You can't save your families. You can't, your mom, your dad, your sister, your brother, whatever the case may be. The Lord go do what he want to do to those people because that's the Lord's creation. We need to be concerned and hoping that our sacrifice is worthy to be acknowledged, man. We don't fucking know. You know what I'm saying? We, well, we said we'd hopefully let Lord willing But we don't know what's going to happen But we also know that We have to depend upon the Lord And the Lord is starting to show us A little mercy by waking up to this truth man So a quick lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shemar Shem all over the place But nonetheless this is Isaiah 30 and 1 Because the Lord is, destroy, is destroying this place You people don't even understand that this is Spiritually called Sodom and Egypt Babylon You people especially I'm talking about our people You people still want to vote you people still want to be heard? Nigga, this shit is going down, man. The Titanic, the Titanic is going down. Isaiah 30 and 1. Woe mean a destruction to the re rebellious, the hard headed children, talking about the Israelites, that said the Lord that take counsel, but not of me. How you take counsel of the Lord by listening to his men whom he sent to go out to bring his word unto you, man? Things about to get very, very critical. And it's going to happen fast. Just looking at those brothers out there in the, in the wilderness, man, it was like, bro, just something as simple as having toilet paper, man. It's going to be fucking glorious in the day to have. Because if you keep using the bathroom and you don't have anything to wipe yourself, you can die from that, man. But you Israelites, you rebelling against the words of Yahweh while Yahweh shot and don't want to take counsel by listening to his men so you can have a chance at salvation. This place is going down, man. You don't see it? This place is done. 
Woe to the rebellious children, saith the Lord, that take counsel, but not of me, and that cover with a covering, but not of my spirit. You taking on the spirit of this world. You still is taking on the spirit of, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are the only people that still believe in this system, man. And these heathen nations, too. But nonetheless, you jakes. <laughs> hey, like, <laughs> oh, man, like Elder Yashwam said, man, in this video earlier I watched, he said, man, if a motherfucker, if a president or a person that run compare Hennessy and NJ, and they say, well, no, NJ is the best you can drink of all the cognac, you niggas will vote for that nigga and say, you know what? This got to be the guy. That's how slow minded, slow belly, how engulfed you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are of this place, man. And the Lord's going to destroy this place. You have a covering of America, you don't have a covering of the Lord. You don't have the spirit of the Lord. So actually you are, you're a Gentile not knowing who you are, but you act like the actual Gentiles believing in a system that don't care about you, man. These people don't, look at the gas price. You voted for this clown. Now look at the gas price. And now, uh, listen to Yashwami's video. They had an article. He had an article that a lot of people now started to be like, man, we should have been, man, shit. This nigga in the office, he tripping. At least when Trump was in office, we was making money. And you no, know, true. You know, when Republicans can get in office, man, it'd be more because it's all money. And you're able to make money and do this thing like Josh Woman said, you're you able to get more crumbs. You know, that's true. Throughout the time I've been here, once, once, in a uh, Republican getting office, man, money to be made, man. But nonetheless, you taking the covering of America and putting the most out on the back burner, thinking that this devil, the so called white man, Edom Esau, is going to save you, man. How the fuck are you people so stupid? This cracker don't get, he don't give a good goddamn about you, bro. And that, but not of me. And that, and that cover with a covering, but not of my spirit. That they may add sin to sin. So by you not taking the spirit of Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai, and you taking the spirit of this society, of this world, of this generation, you adding sin to sin because this generation is nothing but a sinful nation, man. Everybody. You know what I'm saying? This place is nothing but full of sin and wickedness, idolatry, witchcraft, sorcery, so on and so forth. You're not taking the covering, of, uh, I mean, the spirit of Yahweh about Shema Shah, man. you rather take the spirit of Egypt that's going to fall, that's going to bring you to, it, it, that's going to bring into your demise man i'm gonna read verse two lord willing isaiah 30 and 2 they'll walk down into egypt that you're going into america by voting marching uh you know everybody go along to get along you going down to egypt for help but not asking at the mouth of yahweh why yahweh shy he's the one that provide and give you benefits it's not this goddamn devil because you got a good job and a good career and you making xyz money man that uh, that shit don't mean nothing to the lord the lord can put you on high and, and man the lord can put you on high than what you're doing right now man which is nothing that go down to egypt and have and and have not asked at my mouth to strengthen themselves you see what i'm saying you're not asking to be strengthened of yourself you asking to strengthen yourself in pharaoh you're going out like the modern day pharaoh of your presidents and the kings on this earth today you going on and asking them for help reparations and we got to vote we got to do this and Black Lives Matter and all this crap that doesn't mean anything. You're not even asking the strength from Yahweh while Yahweh Shah. But you're going down here and asking help from man when man can't do shit for you, man. In the strength of Pharaoh and to trust in the shadow of Egypt. By you doing all this, what you're doing, you trusting in the shadow of this place. But not trusting in Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah that led you out of the wilderness, okay? We have 40 years of peace with King, when King Solomon was ruling. You, but you're not asking, you know, the, the same power that delivered us from our enemy, from the Egyptians going through the Red Sea. You're not asking of that power for help. You rather go to a man who is weak and feeble, who the Lord go destroy. You asking this nigga for help. Versus asking you how, why you have a side. They created everything in yourself for help. Proverbs 25 and 18. A man, no. Yes, Proverbs 20. 25 and 19 confidence in an unfaithful man esau don't believe in the bible he don't believe in the most high so he's he's unfaithful he's a carnal he's a carnal person he don't have faith and trust in your how about you know why because 
they swear in on the Bible during the presidency, but at the same time, he'll judge you by his penal laws. You're giving same-sex marriages laws. You're passing laws that's contrary to the Bible. So he's an unfaithful man. He don't have faith in the words of Yahweh Bahashim Yahabashah. A confidence, I mean confidence in a, Proverbs 25 and 19, confidence in an unfaithful man in time of trouble. The time of Jacob's trouble. You, mean, you mean to tell me this man that brought us over here on his cargo slaves by ancestors, made us build up this goddamn place, but you're going to put confidence in the man in the time of trouble? In the time of Jacob's trouble? Like you people are fucking ridiculous, man. And the so-called white man really want to hang your goddamn ass. He don't like you, man. You see? But you want to put confidence in the man in the time of trouble. But look how he's running this country. All the other countries around the world don't like this devil. But you want to put confidence in the man that don't believe or and is unfaithful? Gee whiz, bro. Confidence in an unfaithful man in time of trouble is like a broken tooth. Man, shit, them toothaches is nothing to play with, man. Shit, them toothaches. Them, yeah, them toothaches is nothing to play around with, man. And their foot out of joint. You know what I'm saying? That shit hurts. So you mean to tell me you put confidence in a society that's against you? That the cops steadily shooting you down in the streets? Stick your ass in the ghettos, talking about you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. You see what I'm saying? They put drugs in your community, but you want to ask this nigga for help in a time of trouble? You crazy as hell, man. And we telling you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans to awake out of sleep. This is Psalms 85. I'm on a little lunch break, I guess. Uh, something to put out, man, through the spirit and power. Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, Psalms 85 and 6 and 7. 85, not 92. Uh, 85 Psalms 85 and 6 Will thou not receive us again That thy people may rejoice in thee That's what we ask it man Through spirit of power Yahweh by Shema Vashah. I think this is going to King David The musician song Songs of Korah for, Yeah this You know what I'm saying uh, It says in verse 1 A psalm for the sons of Korah Lord thou hast been favorable Unto thy land Thou hast brought back the captivity of Jacob. We asking help from Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh to remember us, man. Because we don't have no strength here. We don't have anything here. We don't have no safe haven. The only safe haven, safe haven is that the Lord return back to us. But he's doing that by giving us this wisdom and knowledge and understanding. That's how he's showing his face towards us. You see? So verse 6, it said, Without well, not re revive us again. Because we're in captivity right now. We need, we need reviving. We need help. You see, we need to get up out of this place. We don't have no help. This man, we sure ain't finna run down to Egypt for help. No, man. Okay, we start at verse four. Psalms 84, and, I mean, 85 and four. Turn us, O power, O Lord, O Yahweh, Bahashim, Habashah, of our salvation. Salvation is only for the Israelites, the elect of the nation of Israel, and eventually all the Israelites will be in the kingdom, man. But the two thirds will have to die on this side and cause down anger toward us to cease. Because we need help. We're seeing that this man is coming out with great wrath, knowing that he has but a short time, man. I'm talking about the Edom, the Edomites, the so-called white man, you see? The one that's in rulership, the top elite banking families coming down and having great wrath, man. Because they know who we are as a nation of people. You see? Will thou be angry with us forever? Will thou draw out thine anger to all generations? You know, Lord, I mean, like, how, long, how much longer are we going to be in this captivity? Like, I'm, like, Lord, we need help. We need you. That's why he had to send a remnant to the house of Israel because two-thirds are not going to turn back. If it was up to these niggas, man, two-thirds of our people, man, we would be marching and doing all kinds of shit until, until everybody died. No, man, we need to get the hell up out of here. We ask the Lord to turn again our salvation, man, and revive us. Verse 6, will thou, will thou not re revive us again? That thy people may rejoice in thee, so we can fully rejoice in Yahweh Bashim Abashah for the greatness he's done. He's taken down all our enemies and all the enemies in the past and our enemies today that, that can uh, protect us from the wrath that's coming upon this place, man. To remember us in his wrath, man. To give praise to Yahweh Bashim Abashah, man, for all the greatness and the judgment that he's, he's, he's been doing since the beginning of time and up until this day. And in the kingdom, we're going to constantly praise him, man. 
He's worthy to be praised. How shall shed his blood for the nation of Israel, man? He shed his blood for the nation of Israel, man. He is forever to be worthy and be praised through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh, man. Show us mercy, O Lord, and grant us thy salvation. Show us mercy, Lord. Prices is going up on the food and the gas and everything. You know what I'm saying? We don't have no escape route. The only escape route we have is this word through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh. That's it. Nothing else, man. But that's all we need. So we're asking the Lord because of the, you know, uh, Father promise, um, the Father of our promise, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Jacob, remember the covenant that you made, so we can get the hell up out of here, man. We're trying to pray and get the hell up out of this place. We're not trying to stay here continually, man. You see, that's my clown right there. So, Lord, we're gonna hope this is edifying. To the next time, I shall say, Shalom.